The battle of I-74 will round out the regular season as the playoff-bound Illinois State Redbirds take on the rival Illinois Fighting Illini. Game one of this weekend series set to go on this Friday night. Good evening, everyone, from the Ice Arena in Champaign, Illinois, and streaming live on the Illini Hockey Network. On the call, I'm George Corey. And first, let's start with these visiting Redbirds. They got blindsided last week in round one of the Midwest Conference Tournament to a sub-500 Midland squad who played with speed and seam passes, the latter of which hurt the Redbirds up front. But a factor to note for Illinois State, despite that loss, they have already locked in that playoff berth with that 16 seed and the theoretical home ice locked in for the first round of the ACHA tournament. So do they rest some players tonight? Will we see Michael Lenhardt in goal in place of Brendan Donovan? And will the top line, Ethan Chesney, Tony Campisi and company, get fewer minutes tonight than they normally would? How will head coach Chris Pruitt attack this game knowing that the future is secure, the immediate future that is, but also in coming off an upset loss with a lot of your top lines playing in that game. The Illini will want them to play their top lines. They want to make them to play those top lines, simply put. No foot off the gas in this rivalry game for Illinois. And this is a team who, after at least few months, has finally overcame a lot of the humps and hurdles that produced inconsistency through the middle part of their season. The last two weekends, clean play right out of the gate with better puck handling and the boxes of speed and physicality were checked en route to a weekend sweep last time out against the Alabama Crimson Tide. But again, that task goes from bottom 25 to top 25. And you did give the Tide too much life last week in the form of penalties. So can you continue to execute against a much tougher team in Illinois State? And can you keep that penalty box door shut, even with your physical nature, and control how much life you give to the Redbirds? That will be the question tonight for Atticus Helfer, Ben Mazurik, Sasha Matveev, and the rest of this Illinois squad that enters their final series of the 2023-24 season. So now we go down to the ice for starting lineups and the national anthem. Brought to you by Skender, the general contractors behind the premier construction experience. Visit Skender.com to learn more. As we send it now down to the ice for public address announcer, Nick Meyer.
Our thanks once again to Skender for sponsoring the starting lineups. Skender, the general contractors behind the premier construction experience. Visit Skender.com to learn more. And yes, indeed, Illinois State resting some of their top players with that playoff berth already clinched. Brendan Donovan, not even in uniform tonight, but not only that, Michael Lenhart, the number two, isn't even in goal tonight either. Larkin Dolan, the third string netminder, seeing the blue paint in game for the first time this entire season will get the start in net tonight for the Redbirds. No Tony Campisi either, he is being rested. The Redbirds top player arguably and their anchor on the season will be watching this one from the confines of the bench. Liam Gritzik out tonight for Illinois State as well. Again, the starting net minder and the starting right winger, Tony Campisi, rested for Illinois State. Usual suspects for Illinois, the top line, Bailey McCarthy at left, followed by Bogdanoff and David Ettingen and Ben Mazurik in goal. Aslan Zhuzhevetkov again getting paired with Atticus Helfer on defense as Helfer sends that one long. Ettingen trying to run after it, posing him right there, Mason Perry. Usual starting lineup for Illinois State other than Campisi's absence. It's Jackson Graham taking his place at right wing for the Redbirds. Moving that one around, Mason Perry trying to evade McCarthy. Short passing here. You'll see Illinois State do a lot of that no matter what zone they're in. As the shot fired there, save made. Still alive in front. Caroms off the pad of Missouri and denied. Now Illinois tries to clear, but kept in right there by Mike Natoli. Now Illinois able to clear. Atticus Helfer will kill some more time and allow for a change. Nick Anderson near side. That one goes through Matthew McDonald off of an abbreviated change of their own. Illinois State tries to make something happen, but McDonald denies that. Redbirds still with the puck though. That's Logan Martinson. Navigates through traffic, but kept to the outside. Now opposed by Alfie. Tried to get it back. Nifty work right there by Illinois. And now Atticus Helfer with it. Feeds it to the far side. Trying to go in now. That's Alexander Matveev seeing his first ice time. Feeds it back to Alfie at the far side point. Half wall battle there. Matveev trying for it. Taken away by Mike Slowinski. Redbirds in the trapezoid now, but a two on one here is Anthony Barassi converging on that with Matthew McDonald. Matt V finishes the job and keeps it in as the save made right there from Dolan. Again, Larkin Dolan getting his first start tonight in net with the playoff berth already clinched. Len Hart resting, Donovan resting tonight for Illinois State. Four check right there for the Redbirds, nearly gives them the puck. A few more bodies cancel each other out. Still able to keep it in is Slowinski. And going after that one now is Will Tricorino. Matthew McDonald chips in on the other side now and a change for Illinois. Two minutes into the game. Trying to move that one around there. Casey Colantonio feeds it to the far side. Ricochet game. That battle goes Illinois' way. A few more men collide in neutral ice. It gives the Redbirds the puck as they're moving now on the near side. Trying to turn that around. Carson Hilt. Looking for a centering pass, unable to get one, still holding onto it there. Pesky defense off the stick of Joe Dorian, and unable to keep that in. At the center point is Justin Gonzalez. Redbirds try to reset in neutral ice. Three-man weave right here. They will hold onto the puck and reset. Still trying to figure out who's going to lead the battle here for the neutral ice. It's been pretty even on both sides as players have converged, stopped some passes. The Redbirds have been a little bit nifty with some weaves in and out of traffic. And Illinois individually has done a good job. Players individually navigating the puck through traffic when they have won those battles. Atticus Helfer takes it away at the point off of that clearing attempt, although he's harassed by two white sweaters. Tried to feed it in there, picked off by Trevor Glass. Redbird still holding onto it. Helfer right there though, but they're able to clear. And now Aslan Zhuzhebetkov holding onto that for Illinois. Into the slot, that's Bogdanov. Feeds it across, although too hot to handle again for Bailey McCarthy and icing as a result. First whistle. Three minutes and change into this hockey game. And so far, really the only scoring chances have come one off the pad of Missouri and a great clear in front there for Illinois to deny any rebound chance. And on the other side, a shot in on Larkin Dolan that he was able to deny from the mid-range. Faced off one by the Redbirds, and Natoli near side. Now creeps towards the half wall, opposed by Bailey McCarthy. Back to the point. Redbirds still controlling for the time being, although that becomes a puck battle. Illinois fighting for it now, and it goes their way. Bogdanoff right there, controlled now by the Redbirds. They'll reset. Fed on in again, 
and Mazurek will deny that. That's Michael Garcia, who was right up on a six, trying for an attempt. Now the face-off won again by the Redbirds. Right there holding on to that one was Michael Rendak in the dot. McDonald looks to clear for Illinois near side. Collided up with Rindak. And the Redbirds will control. That one sent through the far side. Illinois trying to cut off all the avenues of escape here as they denied the Redbirds from the short intermediate passes in their own D zone. Luke Alpie takes the puck there but pays the price for it. Now Illinois going back the other way. And you're starting to see a strength of the Redbirds play here. They're very good at forcing opponents to the boards and crowding the middle of the ice on defense. Fired and again denied by Missouri. And let's see what Illinois can get in the middle of the ice. That'll be another battle here as the Redbirds go for a change. Now Illinois will do the same, and Illinois State controls in their own dog apps. Trying to turn on the Jets there is Logan Martinson. He gets hammered into the boards right there. Physical play there to deny that by Aiden Taylor as he feeds it across. Frank Adante looking to clear before he gets hit in response, and now the other way goes Illinois. Chipped in there on net and gloved out of the air by Dolan. Again, Larkin Dolan getting his first start on the season tonight. And you can chalk that up to the Redbirds have already clinched. And now a face-off in the Illinois State zone to the left of Dolan. And that's three in a row that the Redbirds have won. The Illini yet to win a face-off. That has been a source of strength for Illinois. The versatility on the face-offs now as we will have a penalty coming against the Illini. Check that. Maybe not. The linesman held up the arm and pointed towards the bench, but nothing there. So hold that, and Illinois will look to win another faceoff here. That has been a strength for Illinois in the season, the versatility. You're starting to see seven, eight guys really with the ability to handle faceoffs as that shot is turned aside and to comparable results. But tonight, with the exception of that recent faceoff win for Illinois, it has been all Redbirds in the dot. David Ettingen trickles that around, bogged and off, back to the point. Short passing for Illinois is now a shot deflected and swallowed up again by Dolan. All four of Illinois shots in on. That's something that they're going to look to prioritize tonight. Joe Dorian in the D zone on the near side, cleared but controlled now by Justin Gonzalez, turned around by the Redbirds. Gonzalez will reset, two men converge on it. Dangerous play there, but Illinois State still able to get it out. And now Nathan Dash and Joe Dorian reset. That's a defensive pairing we've seen a lot on the season for Illinois. Another source of the versatility for the Illini as of late has been the defensive pairings with the injuries that have come to this team. No Gregory Ettingen tonight, no Harrison Slovic either. And Nolan Woodring continues to be out for Illinois. Verasi right there, a shot and saved by Dolan. Great work right there by Matt Veeve to navigate that through traffic back to center. And then found Verasi. And we've seen those two kind for many goals as of late. Anthony Verasi with four goals last weekend and a hat trick in the Friday night win against Alabama. He's certainly earned the designation of being this team's top freshman. Trying to keep it in right there is Zhuzhbetkov. Great defense to deny him from doing so by Mike Slowinski. He got up on him like a bear right there and didn't allow anything there. Trying to get back in net now is Dolan. Trying to control the puck there and take advantage of that is Illinois, but they cannot. Matt Vive near side. Sends it in, looking for a ricochet. Matthew McDonald looking to enforce a four check as well to give Illinois the puck. Still being fought for there. Can Helfer keep it in? Just missed. Illinois State will now reset. Almost seven minutes having gone by here in this first period. Nine shots total, none of them having gone past the blue paint. Slowinski will slow things down, having to contend with Matthew McDonald and a few of his line mates serpentining back and forth in the D zone. Getting around a man right there is Mason Perry before he sends it to nobody. 
and Nick Anderson controls now. Bailey McCarthy, short passes. That one going up the stick of Taylor, but into neutral ice. Parker Turch right there. And play stopped at the blue line on the near side. Aiden Taylor, third line centerman, wins the faceoff for Illinois before he gets bumped. And play stopped again. So that will move from a neutral zone faceoff into a faceoff right in the Illinois zone. Navigating that through traffic off the faceoff win is Pavel Bakhtin. The Redbirds have controlled the faceoffs right here as a one-timer does not go from Alex Matsis. Still being fought for now, 50-50 puck battle in the corner. The Redbirds starting to play with some increased speed here as Matsis looking to nab that through the trapezoid. Still holds on to it, now sends it to the point. A man able to keep it in, Matsis at the half wall, feeds it in, and it goes wide. Trying to control it now on the far side, Michael Garcia, Luke Alpi there as well, still controlled by the Redbirds. Trying to swing that around before he's poked away there. Good defense by Aiden Taylor, but the Redbirds still able to control. Shot goes wide, backhand chance, still alive in front. They're still fighting for it, and nobody knows where it is. It may have been under Missouri, and the play will be stopped. Everybody was standing still right there on that second or third attempt, and Missouri had his arms extended. It looked like the puck was under him. As Illinois State didn't really try and do anything to try and poke it there. I don't think they knew where it was either. But the closest chance you've had for the Redbirds to a goal thus far. Face off now to the half wall before it's cleared by Illinois. Far side now, although he's undermanned and taken away by Illinois. Now Drake Niles Cox, seeing his first game action in quite some time, gets hit. The team's exchange blows here in the open ice, and Illinois State will control. Another hit right there. Caleb Santiago getting aggressive right there. And another hit on the board. This time Joe Dorian on Michael Rindak. Tried to send that one on net there, deflected. Niles Cox will chase it away before he gets bumped. Illinois State able to keep it in. Let's see how quickly they can reset and spread the ice. Unable to handle that one right there is Tim Sloan. He looks to reset again. Trying to play the ricochet game there. Now a chase down for it. Right there trying to clear it for Illinois before that play is stopped at the half wall. So roughly in the last 30 seconds and change, an increase in physical play, particularly off the boards. And that's interesting because we see in Illinois State a lot of times in this season where really their main source, almost their only source at times of physicality has been hits on the boards. We haven't really seen them get physical in the open ice. So a relatively new phenomenon there, or a relatively rare one, you could say, as well for this Redbird squad on display. And just before that, they started to get some pressure in the offensive zone. They increased their speed. A lot of those quick passes, again, really helped by those face-off wins, the ability to take the puck away and keep the possession alive in the point. The men at the point were able to keep that alive, and that nearly led to the Redbirds' first goal. Now they look to get set again on offense, although Illinois is crowding them in the neutral zone. Now Atticus Helfer the other way, two men on either side. Helfer give and go with David Ettingen. Trying to feed for a centering pass there. Bailey McCarthy has to run after that, but an odd angle. David Ettingen resets at the point. Back to McCarthy, that goes through him. Now Bogdanoff has to chase after it on the far side, opposing him, Justin Gonzalez. Still able to control it. Atticus Helfer in the right place at the right time as that shot goes off a white sweater. Near side now, back towards the point. Now back towards the corner. And David Ettingen trying to take that one away. That was nearly an errant pass. Illinois will instead control in a neutral zone before that appears to be Zhuzhevetkov goes down and slow to get up. Looks like he got bumped around the face or maybe the shoulder. He is holding on, covering his face right there, and he lost a glove in the process. Illinois starting defenseman will get checked on. That's the first penalty of this game. Jacob Bland in the box 
for the Redbirds halfway through this first period. Juju Betkov still bent over on the Illinois bench as it looks like he took a shot to the face there inadvertently from Jacob Land. First power play for Illinois. Top line plus Nick Anderson for the Illini. Face off one right there, that's huge. Again, the Redbirds controlled the face off circle for most of this game. 50-50 puck battle there, taken away by Slowinski, but it goes past him. Illinois trying to keep it in now off the stick of Dorian. Now on the near side, Bogdanoff right there as another penalty coming for a hit on the boards on the near side corner. That's 18 seconds into the power play for Illinois. As getting up after that is Mason Perry. Joe Dorian wanting to know why he's going to spend the next two minutes behind us. And that will wipe away Illinois' power play. So now a minute and 40 seconds of four on four before the Redbirds will have 20 seconds of a man advantage. And the penalty issue starts to creep up again for Illinois. As physical of a team as they are, you can't give the better team's life. You gave Alabama way too much life last week. Now you're playing against a top 25 team in Illinois State. Again, you went from the bottom 25 to the top 25. And you can't afford to give as good of a team as Illinois State life. Conversely, too, you take away your own power play ability as well. Four on four for the next minute, 40 seconds, as the faceoff won there by the Illini and cleared. Illinois State controls. Matt Veeb trying to enforce something. That trickles close, but taken away there by Logan Martinson. Martinson and Matt V fighting for it now. That one towards the half wall on the near side. A minute, 20 seconds left on the four on four. Taken out by Slowinski. Feeds it back in front for a shot from Cole Antonio and a save by Missouri. Going down to the boards, trying to keep that alive there, and he'll get some help. That was Alexander Matviev there for Illinois. Nathan Dash now moving back and forth, trying to get rid of Cole Antonio, and he clears it. Dash again forced to the outside. That's the strength of this Redbirds team, crowding the middle of the ice, forcing you to the outside no matter what part of the ice you're in. No matter what zone you're playing in, the Redbirds crowd the middle and make you earn it from distance. 45 seconds left in the four on fours, more tussling in neutral ice, and more resets in the D zone for Illinois. Backhand there, cleared by Nick Anderson, but sent right to a white sweater. Now Illinois State controls in neutral ice before they look to feed it in. Carson Hilt on the near side. Hilt trying to gain some space, trying to go around a man, taken away right there by Bailey McCarthy. Beautiful poke right there with the stick before he backhands that one in and looks to gain it. 15 seconds left on the four on four. Tack on 20 more seconds for an abbreviated Redbird power play. Gonzalez, and now Pavel Botkin. Forced to the outside by Nick Anderson. Before Anderson's able to poke it away and clear. Able to get his stick on it. Aiden Taylor on the near side before he takes a hit. David Ettingen vying for it right there as well, but it's cleared by Illinois. Poked away right there by a white sweater before he takes a tumble on the boards. Backhanded to the far side. Gaining the zone right there is Illinois State. Looking for a centering pass, denied by Alpi. Goes through another man right there. And now resetting, Mason Perry. Taken away there, tried to play the ricochet game, but Illinois beat them to it. Matt Deeb clears. And now he'll have take two at clearing it. He'll try to do more than just that, though, as he has two men to his left. Goes through a few men, fires and wide. In the trapezoid, pulled out to Illinois, looking for a shot. Verassi, too much traffic in front. Atticus Helfer running after that one. Can he keep it in? And no, he's forced off the puck by Jackson Graham. Illinois State controls here, two on one. Trying to go around a man, he does. Look for a backhand there. Two orange sweaters beat it to it. And unable to make anything happen there was Ethan Chesson. Now he has it taken away by Alex And Illinois State will tag up. Atticus Helfer around to Zuzhebetkov. Dangerous territory there for Ethan Chesney, looking for his 25th goal on the season, the freshman is. Frank Adante trying to turn that around on the other side. And the Redbirds clear. Illinois will try to reset. 
quickly into Andrew McLean from Atticus Helfer before he fires. Still alive in front. No one able to get their stick on it. And now the Redbirds have numbers back the other way. Trying to go around a man right there is Michael Garcia. Before he's taken down by Atticus Helfer. Beautiful defensive play right there to deny a point blank chance. Illinois trying to clear. It's back to the point. And a big hit right there. And on Joey Zulo that will top play. Six minutes left in the first period. And another face off here in the Illinois zone. And once again, it's won by the Redbirds. Look to reset at the point. Justin Gonzalez trying for a deflection. That goes wide. Now a chase down forward in the trapezoid. Two on one, although very pesky right there, denying that. Joe Dorian. Dorian won that battle, although he was under man. Now Gonzalez looking for a carom. Dorian beats another man to it. Great plays here by Joe Dorian. Although Illinois State still able to send one in at the point. Illinois has won the battle in the trapezoid while the Redbirds have won the battle at the point. And it's allowed Illinois State to keep possessions alive here multiple times in this first period. David Ettingen the other way, save off the pad of Dolan. Cleared again by the Redbirds. And Michael Garcia's tumble allows Nick Anderson to reset, gains the zone on the near side, feeds it around. Bogdan off right there with two men to his right, feeds it to Matthew McDonald. Too hot for him, Illinois State looks to control. A battle in the trapezoid pulled out towards the half wall. Garcia slams Anderson into the boards. Anderson and McDonald right there for Illinois by the Redbirds. Inside of five minutes left here in period number one, still scoreless, although Illinois State has had plenty of very close chances in on Ben Missouri. Navigating through traffic right there on the far side and gloved out of thin air by the Illinois netminder. And that's really been the difference between the shot opportunities here in this first period is a lot of them have been close and on Ben Missouri. On the other side, a lot of Illinois shots have been from the point, from the half wall. And there have been a few rebounds that have dangled right in front of Lark and Dolan. Illinois has just been unable to do anything off of those rebounds and create that signature chaos in the crease that has allowed them to get so many goals over the last few games. That's really just been, if you had to account it to something, it's been the Redbirds have been crowding those areas, much like we saw Iowa State do to this Illinois team two weeks ago in terms of just crowding the crease in the low slot and really bodies canceling each other out. Strength in numbers, you could call it, from an opposing perspective. That denied Illinois. They were able to get that crease control and create that chaos again last weekend against Alabama. But Illinois State has again denied them as that one offside, much to the chagrin of the Illinois fans. Just like the Cyclones did two weeks ago, the Redbirds have done a good job of denying Illinois the ability to really get anything close. Any rebound of chances off of Larkin Dolan. Illinois will try to change that with four and a half left in the first period. Getting some help there on the faceoff is Aiden Taylor, although the Redbirds still able to keep it in. Running after that one now, good feed, but taken away at the dot. That's the aforementioned Taylor. Tried to feed it in, great stick play right there to deny that. Two on one there, taken away. Mike Slowinski trying to move through traffic. Taylor harassing him. Very physical play from Aiden Taylor. He's been all over the place over the last 15 seconds and a contributor for Illinois in that time. Redbird still able to control with short passes. That's Casey Colantonio. Moving all the way around to the near side, having a lane. Now sent it across, still alive in front, tried to get a stick on it, was Tricorico, nothing doing there, and that allows Andrew Mullane to clear. Pass went behind Frank Adante now, and that allows Illinois State to briefly have possession of it before a clear and present offside. A few moments of some great individual possession disrupting plays over the last five minutes for Illinois at the boards in their own D zone. First it was Joe Doran, and then it was Aiden Taylor. Redbirds win the faceoff though, and they're moving with numbers. Save made by Missouri there. Off that shot from Matsus. Forced to the corner now. Great defense right there by Nathan Dash to deny that. That's another one on the list there. Illinois controlling the trapezoid and the corners, but Illinois State controlling the point. 
Now David Ettingen trying to move around Matzis. Nobody there to receive that centering pass. And now in the trapezoid, running after that one is Pavel Botkin. And now Nathan Dash will look to reset as he's backpedaling, nearly lost it. And that will give Illinois State the possession. Carson Hilt, he fans on it, respectively. Dash and Hilt trade fan for fan before Bailey McCarthy loses it, make that number three. Fight for in front of the Illinois bench, Joe Dorian will reset. Line change for Illinois. Dorian harassed from behind right there by Drew Shadow. Now Bailey McCarthy has his stick taken away from him and that will cause a penalty. Bailey McCarthy running after that one. Alongside what appeared to be Parker Turch, the freshman defenseman, one of the core freshmen that have provided a huge boost to this Illinois State squad on the season, but there Turch hurting his team with a penalty. And Illinois back on the play. Their first real power play of the period. Two minutes, 40 seconds left in the first period. Now Illinois with a chance to get some set pressure and look for those aforementioned rebounds. Control the crease. Trying to dig it out right there is Joe Dorian, Sasha Matviev, and Alec Bogdanov there for the Illini. The Redbirds trail Matviev as he takes that out and they clear. Trying to go around a man right there, but he could not. And now Nick Anderson will reset. Mike Slowinski causing some chaos behind the net. Now on the near side, Anderson gains the zone. Very deliberate Anderson is, as is Atticus Helfer, looking for his team to get something set. Bogdanov wide open, he scores! 42 seconds into the power play. The patience from the Illinois defenseman pays off. Beautiful setup, and Alec Bogdanov was wide open in the high slot for a goal. The Illinois captain gets his ninth on the season. And credit all to Nick Anderson and Atticus Helfer. Anderson getting patient, slowing it down, turning all the attention on him. He effectively forced three sets of eyes all on him at the near side half wall before feeding it back to Helfer. Atticus Helfer with one of his signature swings to the far side for Alexander Matviev. And then credit to Matviev as well for feeding it right in for Alec Bogdanov. Illinois with their first goal, and the first goal of the game, 18 minutes into this first period. A power play goal for the Illini, and they caught the Redbirds sleeping a little bit there as they got into the 1-3-1. Oh, now Illinois State looks to take things out of their own D zone. Trying to feed it across both ends of the ice there. That will ricochet around. Aslan Zuzubetkov has it taken away from him. Right in front, looking for an angle. Tried to find a man there, taken away by Anthony Varasi. Jackson Graham got too fancy with it, and it cost his team a shot. Illinois State trying to keep it in. They cannot. Now a one on two the other way. Anthony Varasi fires, deflected off a stick, and that becomes a souvenir. 76 seconds left in the first period. Again, the goal from Bond, from Matt Veeve and Helfer. That face off caroms towards a white sweater. Illinois State looking to clear. Clearing it and navigating it through traffic is Michael Garcia before he's forced back to the outside. That becomes a 50-50 puck battle in the corner. Control to clear it. Aiden Taylor in the middle of that, along with Frank Adante. Inside of one minute here in period number one, Illinois has just tacked on a goal to make it 1-0 ahead of the Redbirds in this game. Taylor using a screen from Verasi before he loses it, and that's a tripping penalty. Another penalty here on the Redbirds. That has been a weakness since the turn of the calendar year, averaging 16 minutes a game, and that's not counting some misconducts, a lot of miss in that time for Illinois State. 
So 16 minutes a game is, has been the average since the calendar flipped to 2024, and they're looking at minutes five and six effectively here. Again, the first Illinois power play was wiped out by a penalty on Joe Dorian. The second one produced the goal. Now with 40 seconds left, as the faceoff won by the Redbirds, 40 seconds left in the first period, Illinois will try and apply some more pressure. It was two goals late in the first period that really took the Redbirds out of the game last week against Midland. Two goals in the last minute that turned a 1-0 score into a 3-0 score. And now Illinois State trying to avoid the same fate. Cleared inside of 15 seconds, it looks like they very well will. Atticus Helfer sends that one around. 10 seconds left in the period. And a minute 30 left on the power play. Make that five seconds now as Joe Dorian has it taken away from him in front of the Redbirds bench. And that 50-50 puck battle will end period number one. A late goal from the Illini off of a beautiful play drawn up on the man advantage. Alec Bogdanoff catching in from the high slot assisted by Matt Vive and Helfer. And the top line for Illinois getting a lot of playing time in that first period. So with that being said, one nothing Illinois to round out period number one. 78 seconds of a power play will await them to start period number two. one nothing the Illini lead on the rival Illinois State Redbirds after 20 minutes of play.
12 to 8 in favor of the Redbirds, but the goals 1 to nothing in favor of the Illini with Alec Bogdanoff getting a power play goal from the high slot after a beautiful setup right in front. Illinois will have a minute and 20 seconds left of a power play to open period number two in a period that probably the top defining feature was that when Illinois State had the puck in their own offensive zone, Illinois gets away in the corners and in the trapezoid towards the edge of the ice, but it was Illinois State that controlled the point. Every time they tried to feed it back to the point and clear, the Redbirds were right there to keep the possession alive and keep the pressure in on Ben Missouri. The other side for Illinois, look for them as they try and get more sustained offensive pressure in this minute, 20 seconds of the man advantage. Look for them to try and create that signature chaos right in front of the crease as the Redbirds control before that one is clear the length of the ice by Mike Matoli. Illinois playing catch here as we now have a minute left on the power play to start period number two. That one goes right through Nick Anderson and the Redbirds have the puck. They will clear. Now Mike Slowinski in a good position to take that and he will kill more time. Slowinski, you got to be careful though. When when he's shorthanded because he has leads the team in shorthanded goals on the season two in this calendar year already has illinois on the other side three on two bogdanoff trying to feed it in for dorian rebound chance off the pad again still controlled by bogdanoff though and sent all the way around that's matt beave and now helfer those two trade places helfer thought about it now we'll go to anderson anderson looking for a shot save made alive in front there and that one wide from Joe Dorian. Illinois creating the pressure right in front. It just hasn't turned into a goal yet. As we're inside of 10 seconds left, they'll look for one more series to do just that. Helfer in, off the post! And now Nick Anderson vying for that one along with Mike Natoli. Those two go after it at the board and out of the box now. Comes Tim Sloan. Bogdanoff trying to go in. He still has it though in the trapezoid before he looks to go back to the point. Bogdanoff harassed right in front there by Martinson. Those two fighting for it in the corner. Now towards the half wall on the near side. Still being fought for before it's cleared by the Redbirds. Running to go after that one is Tricorico. Now running after that for the Redbirds, Jackson Grant. Luke Alpi and Atticus Helfer take it away in the Illinois trapezoid. And Graham will deny an immediate clear. Beautiful feed right there though from Helfer to Aiden Taylor, one on one. Taylor with a shot directed right in front by Drew Shaddle. Now Adante hits Shadow right there. Adante running after that. Feed the center right there. Nothing doing there for Illinois. Hit into the boards is Adante right there, getting increasingly physical around the trapezoid. Taylor there for Illinois, trying to poke that away. Shadow another hit, and Illinois State able to clear. Now the other way before Luke Alpi pokes that. Next time you got something, write it down. No, no worries. Two minutes, 20 seconds into this second period. The Redbirds have killed off the remains of that Illinois power play. And again, the top line had a lot of ice time for Illinois in that first period. And now they will be back on the attack again, serving at too many men on the ice penalty. Parker Tretch is the red clear of that one, and Tretch was unable to get out of the way. So too many men on the ice penalty there as a shorthanded chance. Jackson Graham unable to handle it. Illinois looks to get reset now. That one goes past Nick Anderson, chased down for it between Anderson and Justin Gonzalez before a play stopped. And again, the penalty bug continuing to hurt Illinois State. 16 minutes a game since the start of this calendar year. They're already up to seven and eight to start this second period. So now a shorthanded fist off. And when you're shorthand for Illinois State, keep an eye on Mike Slowinski. Two shorthanded goals already in 2024. Face off pulled to the other side now for Gonzalez. He will send one in, deflected before it can get to Missouri. Illinois looking to converge on it. That's Anderson before he feeds it into the trapezoid. Anderson now far side, fed across now to Alec Bogdanoff. He has to run after that as he gains the zone. And Illinois State able to clear. Illinois trying to hold on here on these long passes from the D zone to neutral ice. They've been a little bit too hot to handle 
over the last 30 seconds and change. Now another one here. The boards slow it down, but a white sweater pokes it away before David Ettingen can get his mitt on it. Dangerous pass right there as McCarthy looks to clear. And now Illinois looks to get reset. Illinois State, again, crowding the middle. And that, that chance there for Illinois. Chase down for it now. Zizhbetkov, Carson Hill opposing him. 40 seconds left here on a power play that has been controlled all by the Redbirds. Nathan Dash gains it for Illinois, but again, forced to the outside. The Redbirds starting to shade that far side of the ice. Can Illinois swing it and make them pay for it? Near side, Anthony Varasi still forced to the outside, though, as he fed it in. David Ettingen still able to hold on to a trapezoid. Centering feed deflected. That one's still in the netting. Now Ettingen vying for it alongside Mike Natoli. Hold out to the far side corner now. 15 seconds left on the power play for Illinois. Matt McDonald right there, sent across now. Dash and Ettingen play catch. Ettingen fires off of the body of Zhuzhbetkov and into the netting. Five seconds left. <laughs> Illinois State has controlled this entire power play and a lot of that this time around has been due to the face-offs. Again, an Illinois team that has been able to diversify their face-off attack, and they've been on the plus 50% side of them this year, but it has been all Redbirds in the dot for much of this game. Feed from Taylor right in front, denied by Andrew McLean. Steadfast defense and placement there by Mason Perry, not giving McLean any room to work in the low slot. Now Cole Antonio trying to clear before he gets lambasted right in front there by Nick Anderson. Anderson controlling now. And that hit from Anderson might force him into the box. Yes, it will. Anderson with a good hit to start, but it looks like after that he extended his hands. And that might be what gives Illinois State their second power play of the afternoon. Prime opportunity for the Redbirds. To tie things just under five minutes into the first period. Again, they have controlled the dot for much of this game. Let's see if Illinois' top centerman, Alexander Matviev, can change that. Matviev and Jacob Bland, but Bland wins it. Far side now. Again, short passes have been the name of the game for the Redbirds. A bunch of them here as Drew Shaddle sends it to the near side now. Jackson Graham thought about it. Illinois doing a good job denying the Redbirds here. Now shading the puck handler. To one side. Now Graham forced to the outside. They swing it to the near side. Trying to evade traffic right there, and that will end up in the netting. That was Ethan Chesney with the shot. And not only are the Illini really shading the puck handler, but you take a look at that last series. Rewind that last series for Illinois. It's the man further closer to the trapezoid on that respective side who is shading as well. Coming up a little bit and moving closer towards the wall on the near side, really denying Illinois State any sort of ability to go around the Illini here and, and get a shot. Now they look to reset. Shadow thought about it. Now they do swing it as Illinois heavily hit shaded one side. They're moving in closer there, but unable to handle that feed was Ethan Chesney. Chesney now harassed on the far side. Again, Chesney, the freshman, the leading goal scorer with 24 on the season. Redbirds still able to control in the trapezoid before it's poked away by Illinois. Now looking to finish the job is Zhuzhbetkov. Has a man to help him in the trapezoid. Forced off the puck right there, Atticus Helfer. Illinois State will still control in the trapezoid, but that one will go through everybody. Illinois State getting in closer now. Everybody's bunched in a little bit as that centering pass went for naught. And that will spread things back out again with 45 seconds left here on the minor penalty. Chesney sent back to the dot. Chesney thought about it. Great covering distance there by Matt Beef. He was able to close out Chesney there and deny that shot off a give and go. Now Jackson Graham unable to handle that one shadow. An orange sweater looking to make him pay for it at the half ball. Another hit in the near side corner. Illinois State still able to control, though. The puck handling and the pass reception hasn't exactly been perfect. And it's probably shaved off about 20 seconds here. Odd angle there, looked for a redirect. Couldn't get one, and Illinois will prop that back out towards the point. 
trying to go around a man here, Slowinski. Five seconds on the power play for the Redbirds. Slowinski had an angle, now fires one in. Lackadaisically, still alive in front as a few men collide. And Mazurik denies that. Some more jawing after the fact. And the linesman coming in out of nowhere to hold Ethan Chesney back. Chesney was not happy after a tussle with what appeared to be Anthony Verassi just to the left of Missouri. Out of the box for Illinois is Nick Anderson and another kill for both sides. Great defense right there by Illinois. Illinois State was still able to get everyone in closer and the Illini did a great job cutting off all shot avenues and making them reassess, making them move it back around. And again, somewhat poor pass reception for the Redbirds at times, probably shaved off about 15 to 20 seconds of that power play for Illinois State. Seven minutes having gone by here in the second period, the Redbirds still trailing one to nothing. Off now to the left of Missouri, right off that shot. Bodies collide, and now Illinois moving back the other way, a two on two. Bailey McCarthy feeds it, that one goes off the glove and in netting. Now Aiden Taylor and Michael Rindak on the faceoff. One by Taylor, but taken away right there and moving quickly is Tim Sloan. Sloan still forced to the outside, trying to get it back to glass at the point. Now those two go after it, now in the corner. Garcia trying to converge on it. Too many orange sweaters in the way though. Illinois turn to crowd the puck, and the poke checking has won here for the Illini as of late. Now taken away off there by Aiden Taylor. Two on one here. Taylor a shot, save made. Benate right in front, turned aside by Dolan. Illinois still controls now. Garcia trying to force Adante off the puck right there before it's cleared. No, it's not cleared. Still alive for Illinois. Can they keep it in? Yes, they can. Shot right there off a Redbird. Another chance tried for the redirect. Couldn't get one there. Now Illinois holding on to it. They keep it in. Luke Alpi on the near side. They force him to give up the puck. Now Frank Adante takes a hit in the corner. Adante still vying for it alongside a white sweater. Those two still going after it. And now able to win that battle is Justin Gonzalez. Far side, Illinois State clears. Huge hit right there into the Redbird bench, applied by Joe Dorian. Turned around now by Bailey McCarthy off a of line change from Illinois State. Is that one fed all the way in? 24 against 24. Able to take it away, Trevor Glass, before he's lambasted by David Ettingen. Two on one puck battle there. Poke check there, gives Luke Alpi the puck. Ricochet game, goes around, now a chase down to keep it alive. Can Bogdanoff? No, he cannot. It's taken away on the other side. Alex Matsis is still forced to the outside as he takes a hit for the Redbirds, able to control. Sent back to the point now, that's Mike Natoli. Now moving in for a shot, deflected too high. Near side, Mason Perry chasing after it now. Illinois increasing the physicality here around the trapezoid. Again, they have won the battle of the trapezoid and the corners, but the Redbirds have won the battle at the point, being able to keep pucks in. Not that time, though, as Mason Perry had to send that back from neutral ice, and Illinois will control. Delay there by Alpi that might give Mason Perry the puck. Illinois trying to prevent that turnover from happening, and Sasha Matviv is able to do that. Now navigating it around traffic, get some help there from Alex Leskai. Illinois State feeds it back in from neutral ice. Now less guy running after it. Slowinski beats him to it. Slowinski turning around. Mike Slowinski, beautiful feed in front. Save made by Missouri. That one off the stick of Will Trickerico. Kept in again at the point by the Redbirds. Slowinski right there. An orange sweater on either side of him. Makes him give up the puck, but Illinois State still controls. This shot goes wide from Colantonio. Looking to clear there is Matthew McDonald, and he will. McDonald still vying for it. Matt Veev feeds it in there. And line change for Illinois. Exactly halfway down here in a scoreless period number two. Illinois still up one to nothing off the late first period goal from Alec Bogdanoff. Missouri active with the stick. Teammate bails him out right there. Taken away in neutral ice now by Drew Shaddle before he feeds it back in. A lot of feeds, but nothing the offenses are able to do once they 
throw it in deep into their own ozone. That beef has to turn that around. Another feed deep into the zone, and once again, the defense wins that. Both teams just trying to get it out of the neutral ice quick and hope something happens off of a turnover. Illinois able to control it with the stick now, and let's see who can navigate the neutral ice on the cleaner side. Maybe move as a unit, maybe shorter passes, and be able to gain the zone with some numbers. There had not been a lot of that. Now gaining the zone, and with a lane, Jacob Blandy fires, touch pass, and a score! Jackson Graham, right in front, off the feed, and goes top shelf on Missouri. Great placement from Graham, right there, to just touch it in, off the feed on the near side. And Illinois State has tied this up 11 minutes into the second period. Right on cue, who can move as a unit more and gain that zone? Plenty of room on the near side for Jacob Bland. Illinois sort of abandoned that side of the ice. And Bland was able to have a lane and feed it in. So now it's Illinois who's on the defensive as the Redbirds look to play with more energy. The Illini trying to increase their speed here. As Andrew McLean controls, Aiden Taylor navigating around traffic, he fires. And a top shelf save there from Larkin Dolan. Bogdanoff and Rindak. And again, the Redbirds control the dot. One through four. It doesn't matter what line has been on for Illinois State. They have controlled the faceoffs tonight against an Illinois team, which usually has that deep in the bag each game. Near side now looking for a clear. Beautiful feed right in front there to Michael Garcia. Garcia fires, save made, and bottled up by Missouri. And now Garcia vying back and forth with Alec Bogdanoff in front, and those two will be separated. The game getting a little bit chippy over the last minute and 30 seconds, much to the delight of those in attendance. And a very scary sight there for Illinois, too, off of that attempt there from Garcia, as he had plenty of room. It looked exactly like the situation which gave the Redbirds their goal from Jacob Bland on the other side. And so Illinois just have to return to that puck crowding ability. And part of that, why they hadn't been able to do that, as Dolan saves that, had been the speed of the Redbirds in transition from one part of the ice to the other. Illinois had done a great job crowding the Redbirds, forcing them to the outside, and in particular on the power plays in this period, really denying their ability to get anything off in set. Now you just abandoned that near side of the ice twice now. And one of those times, Illinois State cashed in with a goal. Kept in right there off the feed to nobody from Nick Anderson. Bailey McCarthy able to hold on to it in the trapezoid before he's forced off the puck. Now Illinois State moving back with numbers. Forced off of it himself there by Bogdanoff. Bogdanoff denies that, and now Illinois will look to go back the other way. Cleared by Nick Anderson. Bogdanoff pokes it back to Bailey McCarthy. Two on three here, tries to get it to David Ettingen, but it's taken away on the other side by Mason Perry. Sends that in on goal. Missouri turns it aside. Near side now, Luke Alpey right there for Illinois, vying for that one towards the half wall. Too many bodies in front there as taking a shot to the stomach off of that. Still alive in front, trying for a feed. Couldn't get one there. That was Michael Natoli. Although Illinois State will have a power play here. Six on five for the time being until an Illini can get his stick on that. A lot of tussling right in front of the net as the Redbirds had a shot. Now they gain the zone. Illinois looking to gain possession, and now they do. Seven minutes 
remaining in this second period, and the Redbirds will be back on the attack. Golden opportunity now for Illinois to do exactly what you did on the previous Redbird power play and regain that momentum. Illinois State, they did get in closer, but Illinois still denied a lot of the chances from Illinois State. They made them recircle around. They made them earn it back from the outside and really made the Redbirds play very deliberate by shutting off all avenues. Now, Illinois had just allowed two wide open chances on the near side by abandoning that near side of the ice. Now's a golden opportunity to deny that and return back to that staunch defense. In the trapezoid, controlled by a man. Now Jackson Graham, the goal scorer for the Redbirds, forced off the puck. Altercation right there at the half wall with an orange sweater, and that will stop play 21 seconds into the power play. Graham right there for the Redbirds alongside Zhuzhbetkov. And we will have take two. Nick Anderson into the box for Illinois for the second time this evening. Face off still being fought for. Jacob Bland controlled it with stick. It caroms towards the net, but Illinois with a long clear. Ethan Chesney now has it. Gets past Aiden Taylor. Now forced to the outside, gets past Bogdanov, has to contend. Unable to get stick to puck right there was Garcia. Now Mike Slowinski moving to his right. Thought about it again, Illinois doing a great job denying him. They forced him to give up the puck. They forced the Redbirds to reset. Slowinski, one-timer there, save made and turned around by Missouri. Beautiful feed right in front for a shot. Missouri closes that angle off. And that one goes into the Illinois State bench with 51 seconds left. So Illinois starting to return to that. And again, they're making the Redbirds slow down on the power play. They're making them reset. They're allowing Illinois State to get in closer, but they're not allowing them any options, any sort of lanes with the exception of that give and go on the far side. Now off the face off, Illinois State looking to move quicker in response to that strategic adjustment from on the near side. But again, Illinois slowing him down. That's Carson Hilt. Cole Antonio moving in now. One timer there. Full body block by Joe Dorian denies that. And again, the Redbirds have to reset. Michael Natoli. Playing catch there before he loses it. Miscommunication there with Will Tricorico, and that will trickle more time off this clock. Cole Antonio still controls for the Redbirds. Trades places. Verasi right on the puck there, and again, denying a Redbird from the ability to make anything happen. Now off some quick passes, a shot deflected right before it even got close. Beautiful defense there from Anthony Verasi. Back to five on five as that deflection unable to be handled by Tricorico. Now Matthew McDonald, still forced to the outside, tries to go around a man and does. That's Natoli. McDonald in the trapezoid, back to the point. By catch, he still has it. Fiat in for Verasi at the dot, fires, save made. Backhand feed, that will give Alex Matsis the puck. But Illinois still able to control off of that bad clear attempt before the Redbird will get take two and will send it across with numbers. Dumping it in his Carson Hill and he will head to the bench. Four minutes left here in this second period. Again, the Redbirds have managed to tie it up. Alexander Matviv goes around a man and gains. One on three here, still trying to make it around as that one caroms on goal and stopped by Dolan. In number one in this game. And on the other side, Illinois making the adjustment, going back to slowing down Illinois State on the power play and denying them all avenues for a shot. Looking for a deflection right there is Frank Adante. And Dolan will stop that as a few more chats, friendly chats on the far side there. Aiden Taylor and Frank Adante in the mix of it for Illinois. A 
face off again to the left of goal. And Aiden Taylor has arguably been Illinois' most successful centerman in this game. Again, the Redbirds have controlled a lot of the faceoffs, but the ones the Illini have won, and a lot of them have come from the freshman third line centerman, Aiden Taylor. Zhizhebetkov trying to poke that away. He gets forced off the puck, and that gives the Redbirds the possession. A few more deflections. Now Illinois trying to take it back. 50 50 puck battle pulled out to the Illini, and Nick Anderson will look to clear on the near side. Three and a half left here in a tied hockey game here in the second period. Great hand eye there to pick that off is Michael Garcia. Gaining the zone now before he feeds it back. Beautiful pass in front, but better placement there by Illinois to deny that chance. That was Frank Adonte. Check that, Zuzhebetkov, 28, who stayed right with him to deny that touch in front. Now he's running after it, centering pass. Illinois right there to corral that. The Illini are starting to crowd the slot. And it's paid off over the last 15 seconds and change. Andrew McLean gets hit as he tries to hold on to that. Taylor right there for Illinois. And cleared again by the Redbirds, but controlled by Alex Lesguy. He'll send that towards the Redbirds bench for Joe Dorian to control. Dorian gains it. And the call looks to be offside. Looks to be Bogdan off the guilty party. Inside of three minutes left here in the second period. And again, the face-off won by the Redbirds. Unofficially, with no stats at our disposal, you call it about 80 to 90% of the face-offs had to have been won by the Redbirds in this game. A lot of control of the dot as that one fired in, still alive in front off the redirect. The Missouri swallows that against the team again in Illinois where face-offs have been the strength of the Illini. Not only have they've had a lot of depth face-offs with Bogdanoff taking over that top line, your best centerman on the team in Alexander Matveev and the best man to have in the dot, Aiden Taylor's really stepped up. The freshman has through this season and has been the best face-off man today for the Illini. And again, you've had a couple other players take multiple face-offs and be of impact in that role of the season. Atticus Helfer, Gregory Ettingen as well. You've seen even players like Nick Anderson take face-offs for the Illini. Bailey McCarthy as well. Really seven or eight guys. Has too much traffic there on the slot. Great defense there by Illinois to deny that, but the Redbirds still hold on to it off of a carom that goes their way. You've had seven or eight guys really make an impact on the face-off this season and a comparable results too. Illinois State still able to control around the boards. Joe Dorian trying to deny positioning there, and Missouri will freeze that. Two minutes, 10 seconds left in the second. And for much of the period, Illinois State has done a good job denying Illinois' ability to really get anything in on Park in on Larkin Dolan. First period, they got their shots in on the third string net minor for the Redbirds, but all of them were pretty much from a distance. Trying for a poke check there to send that one in, and now he'll take it. Standing on that there, and that goes into the netting off the stick of Drew Shaddle. So Illinois got their shots off in the first period, but most of all of them were from a distance. And now in the second period, really for the last 12 minutes and change, Dolan has been quiet back there, and Illinois State has been able to deny the Illini the, really the ability to get anything in the offensive zone, a combination of forcing them to just feed it into the back of the neutral zone and also keeping Illinois to the outside. Shadow, and now taken by Parker Turch. Near side, Illinois being a bit more aggressive now, and that will feed it back into the Redbird zone. Trying to go around the man there is Shadow. Matthew McDonald denying that. Illinois with the possession as a shot there goes wide. Turned aside there by Dolan. Trying to go around a man right there is Trevor Glass. Matt Deeb beats him to it. Now Zhizhebetkov will cut it off and look to clear for Illinois. Yes, he will. Now to the near side. Redbirds converge on the puck. Again, Illinois has to dump it in to no avail. Increased presence here on the four check for Illinois. Maybe that's how they're trying to respond to that Redbird neutral zone attack. Turned around now by Jacob Bland. Still holding on to it before it's poked away by Matt Vive and cleared. 
has been a very defensive second period for both teams. Inside of a minute now, in that time. Illinois feeds it in, again looking for a redirect. Speed to beat him there. And now looking to use more speed to control that there is Luke Alpe, but he cannot. Cleared by Illinois State. Slowinski has it with a lane. Too many men right there in front. And that will deny the chance from Slowinski. Back for a two on two the other way from Illinois. Alpe uses the screen and fires and scores! A veteran play from a veteran defenseman has just turned the second period entirely on its head. With 20 seconds left in a frame where the Redbirds had controlled much of the second period. Beautiful job there by Luke Alpe using the screen from Bailey McCarthy. He basically moved to his right and McCarthy's positioning allowed him to a villain with another late goal in the period to take the Redbird team that had controlled much. And two to one in favor of Illinois off the goal from Luke Alpe. And we will see you for period number three as the Redbirds look to climb back out of a one goal hole.
Back for the final frame of this game. And Luke Alpi's goal inside of a minute remaining in the second period completely turned those 20 minutes on their head. And again, a period in which Illinois State had controlled much of it. They had a staunch neutral zone attack that really denied Illinois the ability to do anything. The Illini were just left to flip it in. And from there, the Redbirds were able to finish the job and prevent any sort of turnovers or forechecking or anything like that. At the same time, you can say from the Illinois perspective that they may also have been a little bit too quick upon seeing that Redbird double team or triple team three players converge. They just flip it in. So for Illinois now, as they look to contend with that here in the third period, do you set up some plays for a guy in Alexander Mackey who can set defenses before? Do you set up plays for guys who can navigate those double teams and being undermanned you know, when you're in the neutral zone? How do you solve that neutral zone attack of the Redbirds? What to watch there as David Ettingen trying to force a man off the puck. A white sweater comes to help by keeping it in there. Atticus Helfer before he sends that one in off the body of Dorian. Now looking to clear it, Drew Shaddell said he'll send it to the far side and the Redbirds now able to clear it. That goes through a few people, now taken on the other side. Two on one there and Zhuzhebetkov denies that for Illinois. Zhuzhebetkov in the middle of that right now. Still fighting for it, Atticus Helfer grabs it in the trapezoid. Helfer harassed from behind there by Jackson Graham. Graham with the goal for the Redbirds in the second period. Back to Helfer on the near side. Current pass there that will give Illinois State the puck back. Now trying to navigate through traffic. He cannot. Taken away by Bailey McCarthy. Atticus Helfer will look to redeem himself. And it's taken away from him once again right in front. And taken away again by the Redbirds. Illinois State starting to have their way here as Illinois looks to clear. Let's see if the Illini can clear it a third time. Helfer still with it now. Into neutral ice. McCarthy trying to nab that around traffic, although he's undermanned again. Again, Illinois State doing a good job crowding the puck here, no matter what zone they're in. Taken away right there, now moving through traffic. Cut off at the board is Will Tricorico. He's still vying for it alongside Nick Anderson. Helfer right there. He forces Tricorico down and a huge hit that slows him down. Anderson right there in the trapezoid, harassed from behind. Will feed it to Matt Deeb. A lot of hits here as Anderson a little slow off of that, taken away there. Illinois trying to clear and they do. Illinois a bit slow on the clears here and credit also to the Redbirds for denying them. Getting in their face on the puck and again crowding Illinois as well on a takeaway right there and a shot. Still alive and a score! Again, they flipped it on its head. just as Illinois State had taken away all opportunities and was winning everything around the boards. It's Illinois with a turnover and Aiden Taylor cashes in two minutes into the third period. The forecheck finally into fruition for Illinois. We saw shades of it in the second period as they tried to deny the Redbirds in the neutral zone there. It took a little bit longer for that feed in. Illinois State had a little bit more time to clear it. And a carom that went Illinois' way allowed Aiden Taylor to cash in on the rebound. And there you see it too, another development for Illinois. That present trend, but still there tonight for John O'Pilka's squad is giving your opponent life right after you have been granted that same life. In this case, a turnover and you cashed in. In the first period, it was a power play that the Redbirds gave you. And you now have sent one of your own men into the box for the second time in that scenario. Andrew McLean will spend the next two minutes watching this one. Matt Vive able to win a faceoff here for Illinois. Unable to survive that is Drew Shaddle, and the Redbirds will look to go back on the attack. Jackson Graham trying to hold on to it, feeds it inside, and Missouri will stop that before Jacob Bland can get to the puck. No surprise to see Alexander Matveev here. Again, the second line in for Illinois, part of it. 
No surprise to see the Illini turning to Matt Vive Moore on the faceoffs here, although Aiden Taylor has been the more reliable hand in this game. The Redbirds have controlled much of the dots, so you go to what has been your top centerman, really, over the last two seasons, that being Alexander Matt Vive, and he has won you two faceoffs here in the last 30 seconds. Chattel swings it far side for a shot, save made by Missouri, and pulled back out to the corner. Waiting now is Ethan Chesney. The Illini have done a good job of shutting him down. Tried for a seam pass right there. Nothing doing there for Graham. And Illinois able to clear. The so Illini have been able to shut down Ethan Chesney and keep him on the outside for much of these power plays. He's been a non-factor in the five on five. Really, the, that's Cole Antonio now before he has it taken away by Buck. Again, can your best player get active here if you're Illinois State? Chesney thought about it. Now to the near side, back to the point for Gonzalez. Chesney winds up and fires. Still alive, and a score! Tipped right in front off the rebound by Jacob Bland. And the Redbirds are back to within one. Too many of those for comfort in this game if you're Illinois. Missouri has made the save, but there has been activity in front. Too many of those for comfort. Again, we talk about it. Whether directly or indirectly, how can you deny your opponent life? And cashing in on that, the freshman Bland on the power play. And it's now three to two. David Ettingen right there, fans on that pass. Illinois State trying to control. And now clearing the zone is Gonzalez. Poke check will take the puck away from him. Still being fought for, still going after it right in front of the eye, and Illinois State will control. A little bit of a murky battle here in the neutral zone. Now Illinois looking to employ a forecheck here as Bogdanoff in your face. Sent in by Sloan, although that's directed, and that will give Illinois the puck. Now David Ettingen chasing after that. Still in the Illinois zone, gloved out of thin air and offside. The Redbirds are. Five minutes having gone by here in the third period. Illinois State has brought closer off the stick of Jacob Bland. Again, the Redbirds control the dot. That's been the story for much of tonight. Shipping that in and hoping for a chase is Alex Matsis. Feeding him to it, but getting hit in the process is Atticus Helfer. Now Zuzhebetkov with a backhand, trying to feed it to Verasi for the clear. Illinois State trying to keep it in. Matt Thieve, though, in the right place at the right time and finishes the clear. Matthew McDonald will feed it back to a Redbird. And now another dump looking for a chase. Able to hold on to that is Butkin. Now off the pressure employed from behind, Illinois able to hold on to the puck here. David Ettingen had it, 50-50 puck battle, will give it back to the Redbirds and the Trapezoid. Trying to navigate that one through traffic. And they are. Another battle for it. Now that one goes back into the Illinois State zone. Very murky battle here in the neutral zone in the last two to three minutes. Turning that one around. And taking his time there is Carson Hilt. Hilt trying to go through traffic, went through two men, couldn't go through Alpi. Now Alpi has it, trying to go around the boards, but unable to do so. A lot of players getting shots in, but nothing much they can do after that. Putting the moves on one before a shot is turned aside is Slowinski. Illinois getting it into the neutral zone, but the Redbirds are controlling right after that. Now Alpi has to clear it again with a man on his six. Pass too hot to handle for Aiden Taylor. Back into the zone, but the Redbirds have to tag up. Now Illinois controls. Dorian, forced to the outside, has a man to his left, tries to feed it to him and cannot. Taken now by Shaddle. David Ettingen, fresh off the bench, looking to move around here. Shaddle has to kick that one to safety. Illinois State controls, gains the zone. Three men bunched up in front of the Illinois bench. Ettingen takes that away there, off some stingy play in front from Andrew McLean and icing. Seven minutes into period number three. Oh 
So again, we continue to see the battle of the neutral zone play itself throughout this game. In the first period, it was rather even. In the second period, it tilted Illinois State's way. And Illinois, again, all they were left to was dumping it into their own O-zone. Now a face off one by the Illini and cleared by Alex Lesguy. Icing waved off as that will force the Redbirds to control in their own doghouse. They do clear it, poked away there by Atticus Helfer. Bogdan off trying to do the same. Helfer gets it in front of his own bench. Now trying to feed it around, but stopped in doing so. Bogdanov comes to his aid. Bogdanov trying to circle around. He's canceled out. That gives the Redbirds the puck. Now Ettingen feeding it in. Still alive. They score! That play looked like it was shut down. Bogdanov was stopped. Ettingen pulls it out of the 50-50 puck battle and cashes in his own rebound. Goal number six for the younger of the two Ettingen brothers on this Illinois squad, and it's back to a two-goal lead. And the theme in this third period twice now, Illinois has been able to reestablish that crease in the presence. A lot of bodies in front cause mayhem, and they've just been able to flip them high. They've been able to elevate pucks from close range in on Larkin Dolan. That's been the difference tonight. Responsible for those two goals in the third period. And now the Birds can firstly will look to go right back on the attack. Atticus Helfer pokes that around. Redbird control now at the red line. And sent back in now to the trapezoid to the near side corner. Illinois able to clear conversely. And Illinois scored. The Redbirds got that goal back on the power play. The Illini score again. How will the Redbirds respond? As you have to imagine, cleaning up the penalties is paramount for this squad, this Illini squad, and at the top of John Opilka's focus. And again, if you're Illinois State, your top scorer has been quiet tonight, really with one exception. He fired one, and off of a rebound, there was a goal, but he hasn't been able to really do anything for himself tonight, and that's the freshman, Ethan Chesney. So how can you get him involved more on the night as well? Gonzalez, that one goes through a white sweater. Illinois looks to take a man off the puck, but Gonzalez has it back. Now that one off the stick of Verassi, and that will allow for a clear. Verassi harassing a man front, and that gives Illinois the puck. Anderson and Alpi, deliberate Alpi. Goes around one man and feeds it all the way around. That will give Illinois the possession as an icing waved off there. Verassi harassed. Still able to hold on to it now, but great plays by Tim Sloan to really make him hurt as that is still a 50-50 puck battle in the corner. Running after it right there is Illinois. Verassi still able to keep it in, although the Redbirds crowding the puck handler really in your face giving you no room to work. We've seen that many times from Illinois State tonight. Rossi, one of the Illini's best four checkers, trying to force him off the puck. Joe Dorian shot now, goes off the leg of a white sweater. Still holding onto that now. Illinois feeds it in, but under man there is Alexander Matviev. Right there is Michael Buck battle still going. Andrew McLean enters the fray. Right there as well, Justin Gonzalez for the Redbirds. That one goes back towards the point. Very murky game here at times in this third period before getting involved there. Dolan with stick. Illinois State controls on the near side, and they clear. That's Mike Slowinski. Four still to the outside, looking for a centering feed. He will not get one. Back towards the high slot, firing one wide. Right there for the rebound chance, and save made by Missouri. That one off the stick of Parker Turch. Trying to keep it in, they do. Trying to go around one man, but kept in by the Redbirds. As an Illini player is down, that's Frank Adante. Errant pass there, denies that wide open chance on the near side from Parker Turch. Slowinski still controls. Slowinski still controls in the trapezoid now. Again, Illinois doing a good job denying the second line centerman for the Redbirds with the ability to get any chances now twice over the last minute. Fed across now to Turch. He's forced to the outside towards the half wall. Trades places now with the aforementioned Slowinski. Slowinski and Turch continuing to play catch. Now Shadow thought about it. We'll feed it to the far side. Tried to go back in there. Turch unable to handle it. 
Great defense right there by Aiden Taylor and Atticus Helfer. Slowinski still has it. Aiden Taylor trying to force him off the puck, but still able to get it back there. Slowinski still with it as we hit the nine minute mark. Nine minutes to go here in this third period. Slowinski right in front. Turch looking for a feed, still alive. Unable to get stick the puck. And the Illini crowd the slot and deny that chance as Missouri was down. The defense helping out the netminder there. Now Will Trigriaco trying for a feed. That one went off the back of the net, right in front, and a save made off the shot. That one off the back of the netting. Mayhem right in front of the blue paint. Still being fought for, still quiet. And Trigriaco sends Aiden Taylor down on the near side. Play blown dead. Missouri swallowed that up. In the middle of that as well, Drew Shaddle. Long series there, long shift for Illinois and for that third line. But some great plays to deny Mike Slowinski multiple times on the centering attempts. And again, the rebounds became a factor. But this time, just by crowding the crease and the low slot, you were able to deny the Redbirds of any second chances. Strength in numbers, just by positioning, just by having too many bodies there. And Illinois muddying up the game, getting involved in the crease on both sides of the ice. Something that has given them a lot of goals here since the calendar has flipped to 2024 and something that has given them their two goals in this third period and probably denied them a few more. Beautiful feed in front though, backhand does not go from Jackson Graham. He had Matthew McDonald right behind him, denying any chances there as Nick Anderson controls the puck in the trapezoid, harassed from behind before he feeds it away to Luke Alpe. Alpe and Graham now vying for it, those two collide. Bogdanoff joins the fray and Alpe sends it over to Bailey McCarthy for a clear. McCarthy going around a man. And now Ethan Chesney will try to do the same before he's taken down. And a penalty coming for a trip on Alexander Matviev. Six on five here for the Redbirds as they send it back towards their own net. Seven minutes, 40 seconds left here. You got to get it out of the doghouse. You don't want a Pittsburgh Penguins scenario here. When you let a goal go through, six on five with a power play coming up. Navigating through traffic successfully is Slowinski. Looking for a centering feed again. Illinois with four different players right in the crease in the low slot there to deny any chances. And now getting a stick on it, Matt Vive, and he'll head subsequently to the box. 7.17 left on the clock. And again, your last goal came on power play if you're Illinois State. Right after Illinois had sent one through, you're in sideline now in the box. You'll look to do the exact same thing. What a, la what a last few four or five minutes this has been. So much activity in front. Illinois has made an adjustment of sending really three or four players right in front of the crease to deny rebound chances. And they've done a great job denying the centering passes as the Redbirds have tried to work the trapezoid. They've done a good job of that all year, the Illini have. Now Illinois State trying to get in close. Far side, that's Tr Rico. Gonzalez playing catch with Tricorico. He'll have to reset. 20 seconds. They've ticked off the clock here on this man advantage for the Redbirds. Tricorico winds up. Blocked in front by Aiden Taylor. Gets it to the net nonetheless. Helfer looking for backhand deflection. And Illinois State will control, but the Illini get it out of harm's way temporarily. Gonzalez near side. Helfer trying to deny him. Gonzalez again working the trapezoid, forced to give it up. Now Cole Antonio, blocked right in front there by Zhuzhebekov. Take three here for the Redbirds. Ricochet there, the linesman has to get out of harm's way. That one goes through a few more men before it's taken now. And back to Gonzalez, looking for a deflection there. Now feeding it back, but it doesn't hit anyone. Still holding onto it for a shot, and a score! Carson Hilt in the right place at the right time. Another rebound and another goal for Illinois State. Another rebound, another goal, another response on the power play to trim the lead 
back to one with six minutes in regulation. A huge series right in front of the net. Atticus Helfer gets a deflection in the right place there. Is Hilt to reset it. A few more seconds tick by. Another series of shots in front. And then a carom back out to Carson Hilt for the goal on the near side, and it's back to a one goal game. Nick Anderson gonna clear it for Illinois on the near side at the half wall. Alexander Matthew there as well. Anderson vying for it alongside Rindak. The Redbirds control at the near side point. Forced to get up, trying to get his mid on it. Now a turnaround shot there denied from Michael Garcia as Illinois clears. That one shoved in to the Illini zone. Alpi with the turnaround, clear attempt. Barassi will finish that. But looking to go right back on the attack is Mason Perry. Head back to Barassi. Matt Vee gets body checked before he sends that one in. And the rest of his line mates go for a change. Now on the near side, Illinois State trying to work. Matt Vive right there though on the four check to try and force a turnover. Matt Vive got right in the way of that pass and that forces the 50-50 puck battle. Illinois State still able to come up with it nonetheless and clear. Far side now. Inside of five minutes left here in regulation. The Redbirds have that amount of time remaining to find one goal and to prolong this game. Taken away now off that battle at the half wall. Fed from Nathan Dash to Bailey McCarthy. That one off the stick and denied by Dolan. Bogdanov tries to keep that alive. That trickles back into neutral ice. Open feed there, but offside call. And a denied in front is Mike Slowinski. Golden opportunity there. As a man was waiting further back that appeared to be Cole Antonio. And the Redbirds have those types of passes before in this game, but the offside for probably the second or third time, denies that type of chance. Four and a half left as the faceoff won by Illinois and sent all the way around by Zuzhebetkov. Gonzalez there to run after that. Bailey McCarthy on his six. Another beautiful pass through. Chikorico forced away by Zuzhebetkov. Beautiful stick play, beautiful physical play here to roll along the possession from Zuzhebetkov. That turns into a battle. Zuzhebetkov muddying up the game here. It's a phrase we've used before. It's a phrase we'll use again as a man goes down, and that allows Illinois to clear it. David Ettingen right there. Back and forth with the Redbirds control in their own zone. Four minutes left as Slowinski gets it on the near side. Trying to go around Atticus Helfer. Taken away from behind by Andrew McLean with help from Aiden Taylor. Two on three. McLean will dump it in and chase after it. Right there is Trevor Glass. Slowinski still has it. Can Illinois keep it in? Yes, they can. And the Redbirds will have to clear it again. Jackson Graham right there. That's a one on two, but it does get out and Graham's still able to control. Graham fights off that. But a one on two becomes a one on five and Illinois back the other way. Three and a half minutes left. Time flying by here in favor of Illinois. Adante and McLean right there, but taken away now by Chesney. Here he comes with a lane and denied by Luke Alpe. Back in the trapezoid, looking for a centering pass, now fires off the stick of Bland. Cleared by McLean the other way now, Adante trying in front, save made, and a beautiful one there off the stick of Joe Dorian. Whoa! McLean with a feed, Dorian with a wide open net. And beautiful closing distance from Larkin Dolan right there. To seal that off. Then the cherry on top for Illinois. Still a one goal lead with three minutes left as Dorian fires again. One caroms off the boards twice before it's cleared by the Redbirds. Carson Hilt sends that back. as we've now hit the two and a half minute mark. 
Time flying by, and really only one whistle in the last four minutes and change. Odd angle, but still on goal from Alex Matsis. The Redsbird looks to control. Back to Matsis in the trapezoid, looking for a feed. Too many orange sweaters in the way, and a good job by Illinois, again, to deny that. Illinois again, crowding the crease. That's denied the Redbirds multiple times here in this third period on a few power plays as well. Not on the most recent one, as the Redbirds were able to make it back to a 4-3 game. Harassed from behind is Drew Shaddle. And now Atticus Helfer. Two minutes left now. Again, only one whistle in roughly the last five minutes. It's tiring out these players, and that's in favor of Illinois. Trickerico tried to find Slowinski, denied from behind by Zhuzhebetkov. Those two run after it now. Slowinski still trying to control it. One on two becomes a two on two. Trickerico trying to help there. Those two still going after it. Tick, tick, tick. The clock is running as they get it back out to the point. Now to the near side, Gonzalez fires wide. Back in the net, tried for a centering feed, cut off by Bogdanov. Slowinski back there, and the net is empty. Six on five here for Illinois State as Jackson Graham comes on as the sixth man. That one deflected, and that hit the ceiling. 79 seconds left in regulation. Dolan is out of the net. Two of your three goals have come with a man advantage as a timeout taken here by Chris Pruitt. And two of your three goals have also come on rebound chances in front. Both teams have done a good job of capitalizing on the second chances and on the doorstep goal. In order from Alec Bogdanoff for Illinois, Jackson Graham for the Redbirds, Luke Alpi, Aiden Taylor to make it a 3 run game. And then since then, the Redbirds have been able to respond when the Illini had increased the lead. Bland, David Ettingen, and then Carson Hilt. Four of those seven goals coming in this third period. So now if you're Illinois State, you know what works. And you know what Illinois has been able to do to deny chances in this game when you've had a man advantage in your own offensive zone. The Illini have done a really good job making the Redbirds be deliberate, making them reset throughout multiple power plays in this entire game. One player tries to go in, one player tries to do a little three-man weave. The Illini cut off all shot attempts and all angles to get an open look, and that forces Illinois State to go back towards the point and reset. Combine that with, at different times, Illinois has been able to crowd the crease and crowd the slot and just send three or four bodies right in front to clear pucks and to make the Redbirds reset as well. When the Redbirds have been able to cash in on rebounds, there are only four skaters on the ice. Now there's five, so chances are that fifth skater for Illinois will be used to set up shot down low and to control 15 to 20 feet around the net. Six on five for the next minute 15. Is that face off still being fought for around the dot? It's taken out now towards the corner. Mike Slowinski converges on it. Puck battle there between him and Atticus Helfer, and the latter wins that in the time being. That becomes another battle. Helfer pulls it out. Chase down for it now as Rissi clears, but turned around by Ethan Chesney. Chesney trying to navigate that around. Now a chase down. Can Verasi get to it? Now Bogdanov controls. That one off of the boards, and that will allow Illinois State to reset. Gonzalez touches it over and plays catch with Trickerico. Near side, 45 seconds left now. Illinois State continuing to be deliberate, but they're running out of time to do so. Fed in front, they score! <laughs> 35 seconds left, that went right through the five hole of Ben Missouri. Extending the stick to push it through, Jacob Bland for his second goal of the evening. 35 seconds left. Again, they were being deliberate. They just fed it in in front. And that's one you're going to want to have back if you're Ben Mazurik. Really, your lone blemish on the night in terms of what you could and could not control. And we have gone back to a tie hockey game. The first ties in roughly 30 minutes 
of ice time. Nick Anderson now will reset as Luke Alpi. 15 seconds left now as Alpi has to go around Tricorico. And an icing with nine seconds left. And an offensive zone faceoff for Illinois State. Illini fans will remember how the last matchup between these two teams in this building went last year. Seven tenths on the clock on senior night. And off of an offensive zone faceoff, Will Sammons was able to shut the door for Illinois and probably the most memorable goal of what was a very tough year last year for this Illini team. That was with seven tenths left in regulation. That icing was probably with five seconds left on the clock. Now, the tables have turned the other way and now Illinois has to fend off an offensive zone face off for Illinois State, this time with nine seconds left. This game having every nook and cranny, every association of a rivalry game. The Redbirds again resting their top two netminders, Michael Lenhart and Brendan Donovan with the playoff berth already locked up. They're resting the anchor of their offense, starting right winger Tony Campisi as well. Everyone else is pretty much playing. Ethan Chesney hasn't had to be as much of an impact as he normally is tonight. The top scorer for the Redbirds. But he is in the dot right now, opposing him, Bogdanoff, on this faceoff. 9.6 to go. Top line's in for both teams. The Redbirds have controlled the dot for much of today, and they win it again. Shadow on the near side. Getting set. Right there is Jackson Graham, feeding it in for a chance. They tried for the rebound, and now Nick Anderson will kill the rest of this clock. Overtime we go. They tried to get another rebound chance. Jackson Graham in the near side corner feeding it in and they had two white sweaters right there. They had a two on one right in front. And Illinois was able to get it out quickly. Credit to Ben Mazurik there. And Nick Anderson content just to run off the rest of the clock. So now we go to overtime. The first overtime game for Illinois. since that loss to the Purdue Boilermakers at the end of the 2023 calendar year. Illinois three and one this season in overtime, the Redbirds two and one, but all, all five of those combined wins for both teams coming against the shootout. Neither win, is, neither team has had an overtime win in these five minutes of three on three. Yet this season, so now Mazurik and Dolan will switch nets. Three on three here. And the speed that comes with a three on three will favor Illinois, but the passing ability will favor Illinois State. That's just the way this game has gone. The Redbirds have had a lot of zone to zone passes. Some passes from deep in the that have set feeds up. And so multiple items in favor of each team coming into this overtime period. That one goes on goal, but turning that around, beating him to it, is Mike Slowinski. It's Slowinski, Shadow, and Jackson Graham in for the Redbirds right now, opposed by Bogdanoff, Helfer, and Verasi. Verasi keeps a man to the outside. They try to get it back to Shadow Point. That becomes a 50-50 puck battle now and it's sent back the other way. Trying to get his men on it, Atticus Helfer, one on three though, able to send it in, Jackson Graham, right in front, Slowinski, save made by Missouri. He turns that away with his right shoulder. Kept in by Shadow, abbreviated line change here. Graham with an angle, tried for the touch pass, couldn't get it. Now a chase to keep it in on the far side. It's Matt Vive right there, along with Shadow. Shadow wins temporarily, but Matt Vive wins after that and gives Illinois the possession. Four minutes left in this overtime period. Again, Illinois State was able to tie it with 35 seconds left. Matt Vive, unable to handle it, Bogdanoff there. That was nearly a two on one. Now Bogdanoff will look to reset. 
harassed from behind by Mason Perry. Goes around another man and unable to keep it in the O zone. Bogdanov, Zhuzhebetkov, and Bailey McCarthy now for Illinois. Bogdanov in, McCarthy unable to hold on to it. And that one now pulled out to neutralize. Zhuzhebetkov will kill time. Three minutes, 25 seconds left in the overtime. Bogdanov turning it around, and the Illini will reset again. Zhuzhebetkov gains the zone, has a lane, fires, save made, still alive in front, and turned away by the stick of Dolan. Illinois looks to reset again. Bogdanov will kill more time. And that deflection will result in a 50-50 puck battle on the near side. McCarthy right there for Illinois. He's able to pull it out. Thought about it, finding a man in front. That one goes off the pad of Dolan. McCarthy still able to hold on to it, and now he'll reset. These last minute and 30 seconds have been all Illinois. The line of Bogdanov, McCarthy, and Zhuzhebetkov. Line change for the Illini. Now David Ettingen looking to get in on the fun. Fires in front, off the stick, and into the netting. Beautiful defense there by Mason Perry. Steadfast, great placement, great hand-eye to direct that into the netting. And you always fear when you elevate your stick on those shots because I don't want to elevate it too much and let it go right into the net. See, you always fear when you make that play. But Mason Perry's defense winning the day right there on that last shot. As now Nick Anderson off of the faceoff win from Aiden Taylor, controls for Illinois. Illinois has controlled much of this overtime period, although Casey Colantonio forces Anderson all the way back to his own net. Anderson makes Colantonio miss. That becomes a three on two. Fed back for a shot, save made in front. McDonald tries another off the back of the netting. And play stopped again. Two minutes, 13 seconds left in the overtime. The Redbirds have really not had their stick on the puck since the first 30 seconds of this overtime period, it has been all Illinois quickness in retrieving the puck off of a save and redirect from Larkin Dolan. Have allowed the Illini to reset very quickly. And they've cleaned up the pass handling a little bit as far as it did need to be cleaned up in this overtime as well. Matt Veeb takes it away, feeds it back around, although right on cue, unable to handle it, Atticus Helfer. Helfer has to be careful here now with Slowinski on a six. First mistake Illinois really made in this overtime, but Helfer able to control in his own doghouse. Inside of two minutes now in the three on three. Matt Veeb gains the zone, one man to beat, feeds it to Verossi, although he's unable to handle it. And now the mistake's starting to pile up here for Illinois. Chattel tries to control. And Jackson Graham wins that battle. Keep Graham to the outside if you're Illinois. That one goes off of an Illini stick. Good denial right there from Zhuzhebetkov. Graham still able to hold on to it, however, and get in the spot before it's denied and frozen by Ben Missouri. 81 seconds left in this overtime. So now your, your first bit of control here for Illinois State that was fostered by Illinois' inability to handle the puck really twice over the last, let's call it 30, 40 seconds. Face off now to the left of Missouri. Again, the Redbirds have controlled the dot for much of this game, but Bogdanov wins it for Illinois. And the trapezoid. Zhuzhebetkov forced to the outside, one on one, trying to go around a man. That's a puck battle and it's taken away by the Redbirds. Pavel Bakhtin moving in before he has it stripped by Zhuzhebetkov. Bogdanov on the far side looking to reset. The Redbirds shading that far side before Bogdanov goes around him in. Uses Zhuzhebetkov as a pick. Still has it and will look to find him again. He does on the near side. Zhuzhebetkov now trying to go around the man. Redbirds turning this into a little bit of a one-on-one -on -one battle. Is trying to take that away. He does. That's Justin Gonzalez. Gonzalez forced away now by Zhuzhebetkov as we're inside of 40 seconds left in overtime. And killing more time there is Bakhtin. Into neutral ice. Now Slowinski gains the zone, has Drew Shaddle to his right. Line change for the Redbirds now. Delayed line change for Illinois. That was nearly a three on two, but the Redbirds could not take advantage. 20 seconds now as Slowinski will go back into neutral ice. Backhand feed, recovered by the Redbirds. And now that's Jackson Graham. 10 seconds left 
Graham looking for a wraparound, couldn't get one there as he was denied by Zuzhebekov. Five seconds left, kept alive. And that will do it for the overtime period. On to a shootout where both teams have had plenty of success in that department this season. So now the speed and the passing tests, and in the case of Illinois, the puck handling. The first two of that category of three go away. And now you have a shootout. What becomes a test of chemistry now becomes a test of individual might. And again, the anchor of your offense is not playing tonight. He is resting for Illinois State. That's Tony Campisi because again, the Redbirds have already locked up theoretical home ice and a playoff spot. For the ACHA National Tournament, they will play the red hot 17th ranked Grand Canyon on March 7th in round one. And GCU finished the season on a nine game win streak. And if for Illinois State, you didn't think that would be challenging enough, the winner of that plays top ranked and the odds on title favorite Minot State in the next round. The Redbirds not even considering that right now as they are looking to shut the door in what would be an incredible shorthanded comeback win. The top scorer for the Redbirds on the season, the freshman Ethan Chesney will be the first man to try and get a shot in on Ben Missouri. Here he goes. Chesney going right in and scores! Slowed him down and then sped him up. Illinois State on the board. Now it's Anthony Verassi for Illinois from freshman to freshman. Rossi taking a little bit of his time as well, now slowing down even further, trying to go for the backhand, and denied by Dolan. Dolan sent his right pad a little bit further, extending that maybe six or seven inches off the net, and denying Anthony Verassi. Now one to nothing after one round for the Redbirds. Jackson Graham, the man with the first goal in this game for Illinois State, will look to try and put a stranglehold on this one. He's denied as the shot goes wide. So now Illinois in need of a tie. Alexander Matviv, the senior here on this senior weekend. The starting centerman, the team's best centerman for four years, arguably and a man who has done everything in that time for this team. One of the streakiest one-on-one -on -one players, although he can't finish it, as his shot goes wide. Illinois may be trying to get too fancy here on these first two attempts. And it's led to odd angles and wide shots. First for Verassi and now for Matviv. And now with a goal, the Redbirds can put it away. Jacob Bland with two goals. The two goals in this third period looking to finish it off. Fires and finishes! There it is! It's over! That is a clutch, clutch hat trick for the starting left wing and freshman Jacob Bland. Three goals in this one first two in the third period, and then the effective finisher in the shootout to give Illinois State the win. First, it was Ethan Chesney. It took him a while, but he got involved twice tonight. First, on Bland's first goal with the initial shot, and then by starting things off with a round one shootout win. The Redbirds come back. They were down two goals halfway through the third period. First, it was Carson Hill with some help from the aforementioned Chesney, and then 
It was bland, and Missouri denied initial attempts. Illinois, so many times in this game, denied the rebounds. But three or four times in which they were unable to do that, and the Redbirds cashed in. And that's tough because not only has that become a strength of your team, but 90% of the time you did manage to shut off those rebounds. You did manage to deny those second chances by clogging up the slot, by putting a lot of bodies in front if you're Illinois. You did it a lot tonight, and you did it successfully a lot tonight against one of the best teams in the ACAJ. You just didn't do it enough. As well as you did on that, as many times as you did do it, roughly the 80% of times that they were able to do that tonight, it wasn't enough. And that ended up making the difference late as both teams heavily involved on the rebound and second chance front. And credit as well for the Redbirds going <laughs> to Larkin Dolan. Third string netminder. Again, Donovan resting, backing up. The third stringer is the second stringer, Lenhart. And in his first game of the season in this penultimate regular season matchup, Dolan able to remain firm and finish on the shootout. Really only had to save one shot as two of Illinois went wide. And Illinois' first shootout loss of the season. Now moving to three and two in overtime and 12-14 in two in John Opilka's inaugural season. Redbirds will move to 23-11 and one and they'll look to finish with another win tomorrow night before that highly anticipated playoff matchup in the first week of March. We'll see you then when the Illini take on the Redbirds in exactly 21 hours from now, right back here in what will be a senior night finisher for Illinois. For all of us in the broadcasting crew, this is George Corey saying so long and see you until then.